All right, what's going on, guys? It's no outside flex here. I've done this tutorial like three times, and my audio keeps going out. So I'm just gonna rattle through it really quickly and let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Basically, this is the guide on how to get the grinder working in Concordia um, for New Borderlands pre sequel. So far, it's pretty good fun. I'm enjoying it. So you're gonna want to go meet Springs, which is the engineer Australian lesbian. Uh, grab a moon buggy and then go to the west side of the map, and there will be a grinder on the back of a tentacle zoom moon zoomy thing from the bandits uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute uh, you then blow this up and you pick up a component from the, this grinder and simple as that hop back in your buggy and then go to the east of uh, Triton Flats and there's a little launch pad that's kind of hidden next to um, a moon buggy stingray vehicle deployer and then once you've done that, you'll jump on top of this anti-gravity lift and get to this next location, Stanton's Liver, which is uh, it's pretty good actually. There's a lot of enemies here, so you rank up pretty quickly, but I quickly ran through this just to record it. Um, I'm playing as Wimhelm, so I just launched my little drone guy and, and ran straight through it to the other end of the map. You've got to kill a boss called Rooster, um, so once you've killed all of these little badasses and stuff, and bandits, you gotta kill Rooster, and then you pick up his dynamite, and you go blow up the grinder, which is found on the roof of the train. You can see I run around a little bit looking for it, but I actually couldn't get over it at first, and then I just managed to hop onto it, um, hop onto the roof. So you jump on the train, and then you jump on this little barrier, and then you jump on, and you see the grinder. So you go melee it, doesn't fix it. You gotta click Rooster Booster, you gotta click. You gotta kill Rooster Booster, pick up his dynamite, blow up the grinder. And then pick up the component and head back to Concordia. Uh, there you'll be able to put in the components that you've just collected, the springs, and uh, then you can put in three same color, same level weapons and get a better one. I don't know if it works with shields actually, that's something I haven't tried yet, but I put in three same level white weapons and I got a green weapon uh, for the same level that came out, I think. Tried to do it with three blue ones, but it didn't work, so I don't really know what the system is. Apparently, there's like no instructions or anything towards it. Um, so I don't know if you put in the same three weapons and you get the same weapon out every time. I don't know if it's completely randomly generated, but it should be pretty cool if it, if you get some legendaries out of it. If you put in some three purples or three pearless, per three legendaries, and you get like a pearlescent coming out of it, which would be uh, pretty cool, I think, because. The more you the more you do bosses, the more you don't want to collect loot anymore because you have a good kit. So you head back to Concordia using the fast travel location. I'm only rank 10 here, so uh, there's not there's not that many locations going on. So I wanted to get this done as early as possible to make the rest of the game a bit easier. So as you can see here, I throw in the components and I start creating a recipe by picking the three white weapons up off the table around the back that should let you keep and uh, I get a green weapon coming out. So thanks for watching the guide guys. If you get stuck on Borderlands 3 sequel from a level, I'm pretty sure I probably got stuck on it as well. So just subscribe and you can be kept up to date with all of the Borderlands pre sequel gameplay and guides and tutorials. There's also a boss, a level 30 boss, I'll be showing you guys how to do. And there's also a Stingray tutorial on how to get the Stingray. Uh, so yeah, check that out guys. Be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you later. Enjoy, enjoy Borderlands pre sequel telling me using moonstones would ensure you always get the best possible items out of it.